when I show my slideshows on Grant, people ask where the location is of Granton Castle. Now Granton Castle was also called Royston Castle at one time. But Granton Castle actually stood behind Caroline House here. Caroline House, one of the biggest houses in Granton. Now privately owned. the owners are not too <laughs> happy that you're walking around our grounds. But I'll show you the location of Grant Castle. This is the side entrance to Caroline House. Once upon a time it's called Royston House as well. This is an old picture, postcard, of Granton Castle. All that's left of this castle now is the wall really. This is a little to the northwest of Carline Park. There used to be a picturesque old ruin. This is the ruin of the house built upon the site of the castle, destroyed in 1544 by the Earl of Herbert. Also, as we know, destroyed by fire the greater part of Leith and Edinburgh. As we can see here, Granton Castle and the Duke. The Duke of the castle still stands in this part of the wall. Another picture of the Duke. As you can see by this time, the, the castle's disappeared. And as you can see, used as a psychopath. <laughs> The most interesting person who resided here was Sir Thomas Hope of Craig Hall. He was the King's advocate for Charles I. And the earliest mention of Granton Castle is that in 1479, 
the barony of West Granton belonged to John Melville of Cran Carnby in Fife, which passed on to his son, John, who was killed at Flodden in 1513. Still looking at some of the walls that surrounded the castle and its gardens. Here's another shot of the castle. This was probably the main entrance. I think we're going to get a lot of wind noise here. Patrick Nicholl, merchant in Edinburgh, who in 1659 bought the house and in 1661 had Easter Granton erected by charter under the great seal of Barney, called to be the Barney of Royston. The Barney of Royston was sold once again in 1683, along with the Golden Acres, to Sir George Mackenzie of Tarbet, Prime Minister of Scotland. In 1685, he built Royston House, now known as Carling Park. In 1928, the castle was bought by a firm of quarriers, who demolished it to get at the rock underneath. The deeper it went, the more uneconomical it became to work. The scheme was therefore abandoned after destroying the castle.